Hello everyone, my name is Lancer90 and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now looking much nicer, but with some lower FPS. Yeah, looks like we're actually kind of dipping into 30 here. Let's see what else we can do. Oh, Lord, again, effects to medium. This process... I will do that much. That's about as far as I'm willing to compromise. I don't really want to compromise on like textures and shaders and object geometry. Yes, the lack of SPS sucks a little bit, but it's not like critically bad. He's not a serious person. Insulting our king. What insult? I said only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. I had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for his king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitors. Now even the Pope... God be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsches Falling shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> Who do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Winslesus is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch... This is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? You too, I, Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to this freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for it? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some turds will do. <laughs> what do you say, Henry? You gotta kick out of Fritz, he's hilarious. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Throwing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? If I need your help in return... I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm just gonna do I'll, I'll do I did and I need your help in return last time, but I don't think I needed to, so I'm just gonna say I'll do it. Oh well. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. He 
this serious? So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? <laughs> Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the popes. He might have mentioned the popes too. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. Throw some turds. <laughs> what are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. That's for Sigismund! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse Hans! Let's make those smiles off your faces! Oh, <laughs> I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with his proxy Deutscher. Maybe he'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker! I'll make you pay for that. Come back. Is like a kind of guard. What? Which is funny because this guy's a guard. So, if I recall, this is a little bit of a run. So, uh, sort of the larger story that you get a little bit at the, uh, the main intro, not that little starting intro that we got. But when you first boot up the game, is that uh, our king just died not too long ago, and he was a really good king, Charles the Fourth. He was great and successful and all this stuff. And uh, I think it's his brother. It might be his son. I think it's his brother though. His brother Wenceslas takes uh, becomes king after him, and uh, he's extremely lazy and doesn't even show up for his own coronation and stuff like that. So his, maybe is his son, and then Sigismund's his brother or his half brother, something like that, and uh, he sees that Wenceslas is really lazy, so is trying to uh, seize control militarily. Watch it. Hmm. 
close these days. I'll take a bit more than usual today. That's it then. So it's kind of like what's better, the asshole who's burning down and raising villages but might be more fit to be king or a king that's just really lazy. Probably just the king that's really lazy because turns out Sigismund is quite deterred. Fritz, who can get us the lock picks so we can. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? <laughs> Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. So, how the Deutsches, bro? Nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> Let's see if Fritz can help us out now. How did things end up at the Deutsches? His whole house is covered in oh. shit. Don't we know that? But I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll... Good point. It's not a delay. We've sorted out Deutsch. Now I've got someone else to deal with. Another beating? <laughs> Count me in. Kuna owes money to my father, but he won't pay. I'll have to shake it out of him. Sure, mate. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it then. So I was curious about how the different ways to do this were, but it turns out it looks like it's going to end up the same way. Kunesh, get out here, you old goat. I've something to show you. Must be stuck in animation or something. What the fuck are you here for? You want me to take a rip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you old drunk. <laughs> oh, <please>. Jesus. <laughs> How exactly you're supposed to like you're supposed to be able to learn lock picking from Fritz, but the other set of things I did before didn't open that option, it's just the same as this. I have to meet my microphone, there's a train. Good day. Alright, train's passing. It did honk right outside the window, so it was a good thing I did it when I did. I think we need 10 pieces of charcoal. So add those to basket, check the basket, and we can close our deal and haggle. So we're gonna haggle since we have some speech skill. Okay. 
Maybe we can't. That's like not worth enough. What? Confused. Oh, we don't sell it. Dirt and done. Oh yeah, we have to sell this stupid stuff. Let's see, sell. Buy. That's why we couldn't haggle. We didn't have any money to haggle with. I was just trying to figure out which way is which, it's a little bit confusing. So I'll try to just do zero, whatever that means exactly. I think down is better for us and up is better for him, so. Aye. For that amount, I can be persuaded. Maybe not. I have just given him more money. Oh, I don't think it really matters. Oh, oh the tavern's here. I was just getting confused a little bit. May the Lord watch over you, Henry. God save my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> You too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And a card for my beauty? What else might your worship desire? I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. But of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Lanyard? I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, savor your schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. <laughs> God save Henry. So normally, if you don't have that mod, I have Sager Schnapps is the only way to save outside of uh, resting. Uh, we have to find that dude with the sword. Last time I did that at the start, I kind of forgot about him. There he is. Hopefully, this means the ale won't go cold. That uh, was nothing. Except Mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? 
Yes. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. All right. Let's learn to fight, even though we already did. And those gatos even teach us how to fight properly. As we will find out, Henry is pretty much shit at fighting. Unfortunately, Kingdom Come sort of has that issue where your walk speed is a little bit slower than NPC walk speed and your run speed is a little bit faster than our run speed. We can. Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Which isn't much. Oops. He auto drew it and I put it back away. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Yeah. So the little star in the center is where we're attacking. And we control that by my, my mouse movement. And right click and stab. Swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. All right. Now to wrap this up. Another save. I guess it doesn't ask us to override until we run out of save spots. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? Not yet. I'm Oops, I pressed the wrong one. How much longer will it take? Get a move on. We have to finish that sword today. Or do you want me to look a fool in front of Sir Radzik? No, I don't. I'll be back soon. I'm used to the first option being uh, yeah, about time. continue instead of uh, the second option being continue. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. <laughs> Look at that man. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Only I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. 
Latin, maybe? Lord Rudzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have you got the charcoal? Good. Then fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. He got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and war. You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. I pick the speech skill. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Seems risky with your bare hands, man. Good. Once more. Wear some gloves. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the garb. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? You remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau, and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. I guess I didn't have to explain it. I forgot that he explains it. Give it here. And we'll put it all together. Glitch through his uh, clothes a little bit there. <laughs> That's magnificent. Indeed, it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. 
Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. All right, grab. Uh, we're out of time for this video, though. I hope you all enjoyed, and have a good day.